Hey, Regina, how are you? Um, all right. <laughs> Good, this is Jeremy Reynolds. I'm here with yes. Regina. And, hey, uh, what brought you to us, Regina? What was the precipitating circumstance? Or what like, was the final thing, or the first thing, that brought you to us and resulted you staying with us at JJ, Joy Junction? Um, I was in the streets, and I was drinking again. And I didn't want to be in the street anymore. Tell me, you know, how it is. Give people, give our viewers an insight of what it's like to live in the streets. Give them like a bird's eye view. Uh, there's nothing to do in the streets but drink. And you got to go find food and shelter. And I was sleeping like in a little corner. And what times did you normally sleep? I, I used to get up early in the yeah. morning. Because like, people used to go there where I used to sleep. They, it was like a post office. Yeah? So what caused you to be in that position in the first place? Drugs, alcohol, or...? My addiction. To? Uh, heroin. Heroin, okay. Now how long were you a heroin addict for? 20 years. Wow. And what caused you to begin taking heroin? Uh, I just got curious and I wanted to try it. And with the first hit, was it all over and downhill from that point? Uh -huh. How was the first hit? Uh, well, it doesn't get better, it gets worse. You have to take more, do you, to get the same effect? Uh -huh. OK, so during I, those 20... I lost my family, my mother, and the people that I loved. Wait, they just abandon you because they couldn't cope with your addiction? Oh, uh, yes. And how, how did you feel when that happened? Did they just say, okay, we can't cope with this? Uh, I just got into my addiction more. So the sadder you came, the more you needed addiction to cover the pain, right? Yes, sir. And what was your family saying to you or thinking about you while you were in the throes of your addiction? That, that I would snap and not do drugs no more. So did they pray for you? Yes, they did. Yeah. And what were you thinking about during this time? Um, I didn't think that they cared about me, but they did. So what brought you after all these years? And was this here in Albuquerque? Yes, it yeah. was. After all those years living on the street, did you have like apartments during that time for a while? or? Um, no. no, I just used to live with whoever. I could. I so, what was the what was the circumstance that finally brought you to Joy Junction? Um, I got tired of that life, and I wanted to change my life. But was there something one day that got you really tired? You said to heck with it, no more. Uh huh. Can you tell me what that was? Um, I was just tired of doing nothing, and. Uh, I knew my life wouldn't get better now unless I, I changed, tried to change it. How has it been since you stayed at Joy Junction? Um, it's, it's a, it's like my family here. I like it here, and I could do my program, and I'm serving God now too. That's awesome. We love having <coughs> you. Here. And I hope to go back to school when I finish my program. Mm -hmm. To do? Uh, um, to get my high school diploma. Awesome. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and maybe get a job, I don't know. Where would you have it's been? it's so hard for yeah. me because I'm, so, I'm old. You know. <laughs> but they don't like old people, they like young people. Where would you have been, Regina, without Joy Junction? Um, probably in the street still. No fun, huh? No. What would you say to those people who give, who make our operation a possibility? Because we get no government money, so if people didn't give, we wouldn't be here. What would you say to them? Um, to keep giving us so we can stay here and get food and whatever else we need here for all these people. And if you have one wish, what would that be? Um, to get better someday. When? Um, 
soon? Yeah. What does that mean, Regina, to get better? To you, what does that mean to you? Well, I'd be so happy and to to um, follow the way God wants me to follow. I'd be so glad about that, too. Awesome. Anything you want to tell people I haven't asked you? Um, no. Awesome. Thank you for <laughs> taking a minute, Regina. You You're did great. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.